back to my channel long time no chat I feel like I haven't sat down and talked to you guys in months like I posted my weekly vlogs but like to have a combo and just let you guys know all of the fun new adventures I have going on in my life I feel like I'm I'm a bad friend because I have so much new fun information to share about my career and what's been pretty much going on for the past couple of months so we talked was um it was my my video about being a new grad in the CVICU <laughs> and I told you guys like all of the wonderful things I had learned over the past year and um some pros and some cons to working on a unit like that right after school so about a week or two after that I had been like just in a mood and I had been like like asking God like Lord please tell me what I'm supposed to do like am I supposed to be here or am I supposed to be somewhere else like what am I supposed to be doing so I reached out to my residency um director and asked her if I could shadow on different units to just see like if there was something else that I could possibly be interested in and I don't know just kind of find my flow like see if I if I'm like in love with CVICU or am I willing to like venture off and see more do more so a couple weeks went by like she said she would set up like some shadow opportunities for me but it was like a couple weeks had went by and I hadn't really heard anything from her so I was just kind of like okay well I guess I'm meant to be here in CVICU so like randomly like one random day of the week um she emailed me the um nurse managers information at emergency in the emergency department and I just emailed her basically telling her like I just wanted to shadow and see what it was like working at ER so she wrote me back immediately and I shadowed the very next day and I went there like I was only going to be there for six hours maybe it was like four or six hours I went there and it was just like a whole new world like it was so much stuff happening so many people just like crazy it was completely different than what I was used to so I um I like went in and kind of followed every nurse around like anything interesting or something new uh, something very critical or acute like I would go in and like kind of just see how they triage the patient and how they set them all up and basically what role did the emergency nurse play in the line of care that the patient's you know go through as they go throughout the hospital so I she was like do you want to triage your patients and I'm like yeah <laughs> so like I jumped right in and I was triaging patients I put in some IVs mind you working in CVICU like I had probably put in four IVs the whole year I was working there I had put in like five IVs that day and I met with the director and they had, I guess the nurse manager had told her like a whole bunch of good stuff about me already <laughs> from my day there so far. And she was just asking like, what, like, was I interested in the emergency room? Did I like it? How did I feel about it? And I'm like, yeah, like I can see myself working here. I'm just like, you know, I can see myself working here. I'm just telling her that. She was like, well, do you want to work here? And I'm like, what sis? Like, do I want to work here? Uh, I don't know, like, yes, I want to work here, but what are the people at my job going to say? Like, they're going to be so mad. <laughs> they're going to be pissed that I'm, like, if I come over here. So she was like, okay, well, if you want the job, like, it's yours. So then she was like, I was like, okay, well, yeah, I think this is what I want. Like, how did all this just happen in, like, less than 24 hours? This has to be God. This has to be the reason, my purpose, my answer to the question that I was, so, that was pondering in my head for weeks. So the next day I had an inter uh, interview with the director of like all of the freestanding emergency rooms and he asked me, you know, normal interview questions and then he gave me like scenario questions and I was just like, whoa, like, I wasn't expecting it. <laughs> so like the answer I gave, like I, I answered wholeheartedly, I, the way I answered the scenario was exactly what I would do and exactly what I would say. And he was just like floored by my answers like, wow. It took, like, every time I ask people these questions, like, they get puzzled. But you, like, jump right in and you gave a really good answer. So he was like, I don't know why we didn't find you quicker. Um, you, they should have hired you weeks ago. <laughs> so as far as I'm concerned, you are hired. So this was, like, two days. Like, in two days, I had a brand new job. So then um, I hadn't quite reached a year of my hire date. So you can't transfer within departments in the hospital 
and let until you reach your year. So my this was like probably the last week in May. So I my hire date was July 17th. So I had to wait at least to July 17th. Um, and then your current manager has the they can hold you for an extra 30 days. Um, just because like they have that you know leeway just to look for people, more people to hire or whatever like whatever the case may be so i had i had this job for like a whole month and a half um before i was actually able to start so my last couple um my last month and a half in cvicu it kind of like flew by like it was same 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 like it, the surgeons were going on vacation and I was getting canceled. I was getting floated to different units. So I'm just like, maybe this is just all preparing me for my new job. So I started working in the emergency room August 13th. So it has probably been almost three weeks now. This week coming, this week right now, it will be my third week working in the ICU. Yeah, I'm coming up on my third week working in the emergency room. Did I say ICU? Emergency room. I'm coming up my third week working in the emergency room. And um, so far, <laughs> my days have been crazy like every day i go to work i feel like i'm on an episode of like punk like i can't believe this is real life i can't believe people really come in here with all this drama and i love it like i love the emergency room i am working in a standing a freestanding emergency room so basically we only have the emergency room everybody who gets uh, admitted into the hospital we have to transfer them out but we see so many people because of the area we're in we're actually in the area um it's literally right, right by my house. That was one of the reasons why I kind of picked it. It's like two minutes, a two minute drive from my house. And the people that come there, like, I am literally seeing people who I grew up with, people who, like, I'm taking care of my community. And that's, like, so empowering to me because I feel like it's my way of giving back in a sense. And I'm learning so much. Um, I think I mentioned this in my previous video about how working in CVICU is very specific. Like, I was only taking care of open heart surgery patients, um, some thoracic procedures and vascular procedures. Like that was what I got. All straight cardiac, which is it's so vital to understand how the heart works and you know, cause it really is the the it pumps everything, perfuses blood to the rest of the body. But at the same time, like I wanted to be very versed and well rounded in my nursing skill set and I felt like from the from the time I left CVICU to the time I got to the emergency room, I had literally only taken care of one patient population. So I would get like patients with DKA or COPD exacerbation or GI bleeds in the emergency room and I had never taken care of those patients before. So it has been like learning everything. I Of course I learned all this in nursing school, but to actually see it in a clinical presentation, some of this stuff I've never seen and some of this stuff I haven't seen since nursing school. So it really has been eye opening for me and I feel like I, I feel like I made the right decision in switching specialties because it kind of is kind of helping me narrow down like what I want to do next. Like what, where do I want to further my education in, in a sense. So yeah, I, so far so good. Like I'm loving working in the emergency room. I really like how the doctors are right there the whole time. Like you don't have to call five and six times to get orders put in. Matter of fact, they put in their own orders. Like you don't even have to put in orders. <laughs> you don't have to call five, six times to put orders in. Everybody where I work at now is super, not to say that where I was, they weren't super helpful, but it's like a really like a family like atmosphere. And I've been really enjoying it. I'm in orientation still. So this emergency room, it um, we take adults and children. So for my first four weeks of orientation, I'm going to be, you know, just doing like general orientation. I have a preceptor who I love. She's very good. She's very thorough. Like she checks behind everything I do. <laughs> but it's a good thing. Like I feel like it's helping me kind of like understand the transition and understand like what skills play a bigger role in emergency nursing versus floor nursing? Um, so yeah, I have to take PAL, so pediatric advanced life safe life support, <laughs> life saving, <laughs> life support. I have to go shadow, um, not shadow. I have to go orient um, in a on the in the main hospital in their pediatric emergency room for two weeks just so I can kind of get a feel because I have never taken care of kids 
prior to this I so far I've had probably like three pediatric patients and it wasn't anything super acute it was just like a cough or um, like somebody fell and but but like scraped their head but other than that it isn't like I haven't had super ill children come through and I was assigned to them um, another big difference between CVICU and the emergency room is the fact that I had two patients in the ICU and now I, I can get up to four which is it's different but I feel like it's different in the sense because in ICU it was so critical and it was so like you had so much to do for one patient that it made sense that you had only two patients and it can get like that in the emergency room but you still have those like stomach abdominal pain patients those cough patients those laceration patients which don't require as much attention which allows you to kind of divvy up your um, time taking care of uh, who needs your immediate help so yeah that's like pretty much you know what's been going on in my my career life lately I just I, I'm learning a lot right now I feel like I'm kind of like back into like like I feel like I'm starting all over like it's my first year of being a nurse almost again <laughs> which is kind of crazy to think like I really I really didn't take care of anybody else besides open heart surgery patients like what the heck <laughs> but everything is going good so far um I am super excited to you know continue sharing my journey with you guys I appreciate all of you guys support if you guys didn't know we have 800 subscribers here on Char Charter TV and I made up in my mind that when I get a thousand subscribers I was gonna do a giveaway so y'all tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to my channel but that's pretty much um, all I have for now if you guys have any questions about you know nursing in general or um, it's more specific like working in emergency room or the like just in, if you have any more questions or anything else I can answer for you feel free to you know DM me on Instagram write me leave a comment below whatever you want to do I'm free to answering any and all questions that I possibly can to kind of you know help you guys get a feel for like what it is like you know in the nursing world so thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching my video and I look forward to seeing you guys in my next vlog